Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. And today my subject is titled, The Mess in the Middle. That's right, the mess in the middle. You see, there are times in all of our lives when we're going to be disrupted by life itself. And the real struggle is, for many times, it's not in the beginning, it's not in the end, it's in the middle. It's that messy part in the middle because that's where we don't understand what's going on and, and we don't even understand what normal can be sometimes. And, and this is a struggle for our hearts and for our minds. So the question is, where is your heart today? Where is your mind today? Are you in the beginning of a season of your life? Are you at the end of a certain season in your life? Or are you in the middle of a season? Because if you're not careful, that messy middle can begin to break you down mentally, physically, emotionally, and even spiritually. And it can cause you to make a settlement with something far less than what God has for you. So in other words, what are you expecting to happen right now in this season in your life? Uh, what kind of attitude do you have while you're in the thick of that messy middle? Uh, is your thoughts uh, stuck on uh, what, where you've been? Is your, are, are you stuck in the past? Are, are you focused on what went wrong? Uh, what's not working right now in your life? If you are, then it's time to start changing the way you think. Because only by changing the way you think, it will give you opportunities to change the way your future turns out. So it's time to throw away all those discouraging thoughts and get yourself around some people that will encourage you and motivate you and inspire you. Uh, and sometimes that means you have to encourage yourself. That's right, sometimes you gotta stand up inside yourself and you gotta be your biggest cheerleader. You don't wanna be your biggest hater. Uh, and it's time to change addresses in your life. It's time to change the address in your mind right now from that city of I can't do it to the city of I can do it. You gotta put that behind you. It's time to, to take your mind and, and take your life into the land of hope and to the land of faith and to the land of great expectations. And every time you catch yourself being negative and dwelling on past mistakes and dwelling on past failures, things that didn't work out, setbacks and disappointments, you gotta remind yourself of God's promises in your life. And every time you start thanking God for his promises and for his faithfulness, this is what's happening. You're taking a major step in the right direction. You're taking a major step to rebuilding the possibility for your future. And the Bible says that those who hope in the Lord will never be put to shame. Isn't that, isn't that strong? But it also says that hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. And so as you focus on God's blessings in your life, as you begin to take charge of your mind and you begin to thank him for the things that you haven't even seen yet. And that's why the scripture says, have the faith to call forth the things that do not exist as if they do. When you do that, you are dwelling in the land of hope. And that's a land where peace and blessing, and that's a land where victory lives, even in the middle. So until the next time, start putting your mind and your, and your hope and your faith in the things that you can't see, but you give God the glory for it, even if it hasn't happened yet, and watch those blessings come chase you down. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare that you will be all that you were created to be. So God bless you guys.